Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Demand homology modeling. So, here we will demonstrate how to build a model for a protein structure from any specific amino acid sequence. As I discussed earlier, homology modeling requires several steps such as target sequence, the sequence which one you like to get the structure and first you need to get the templates, then alignment backbone generation, loop modeling, side chain modeling, model optimization and validation. For example, if you have a protein called the human CS kinase, tyrosine kinase with the Uniprot ID, Uniprot is the uh, database for protein sequences P07947. So, we know the sequence, now the task is to get the structure. So, there are various steps involved to get the structure. First, we have to get the uh, template right, using the blast, then build kinase domain of this CS kinase and we generate the maximum of 10 models and calculate the energy score which is lowest denotes the best model. Then evaluate the model using Ramachandran plot and report the structure similarity and visualize the structures. So, to get these structures, the prerequisites are First, you install and register modeler. This is software used for uh, modeling structures using homology modeling. And we need internet for the template search as well as validating the model. And you need the tools such as PyMol for visualization and RMS calculations and so on. Now, we will see how to build a model from the sequence of the human CS tyrosine kinase. Now, I will give a demonstration on uh, prediction of protein structure using modeler software. Uh, using modeler software, we can uh, do a homology modeling and here the task is predicting the structure of human CS tyrosine kinase and its uh, uniprot sequence ID is P07947. So, it, it includes a few steps like uh, retrieving protein sequence from uniprot and uh, searching template using BLAST and building the structure based on the template. So, these are all the three essential steps which I am going to give demo and uh, to do this we have to understand how the structure, uh, structural organization of the protein tyrosine kinase. Here the protein CS kinase which is belongs to the SRC kinase family has three domains. One is the kinase domain and then SH2 and SH3 domain, but the task given is building the kinase in domain alone. So, accordingly we have to retrieve the sequence and start doing modeling. So, the prerequisites are the model software installed and then the internet facility for template search and model validation and the tools visualization tools for visualizing the target and templates and to make a comparative statements on it using metrics like RMSD. So, first I will explain how to start uh, searching the template for given uh, protein sequence. So, to retrieve the sequence go to uniprot and type the ID and it will show the full annotation. and you search for the sequence 
belongs to the kinase domain. So, for that if you search kinase domain or SH2 or SH3 whatever it is. So, here you can see the region belong the sequence region belongs to protein kinase that starts from 277 to 530. If you click on this link you will get the sequence exactly that is belongs to the kinase domain of the protein kinase. You can copy this and save it as the FASTA. Save us. So, use the same ID as a file name dot FASTA first and save it in your preferred working directory. Just make homology or model. So, now we have retrieved uh, the kinase domain of the sequence of kinase domain and now as per the need for uh, the modular software the, this FASTA file should be converted into the PAR format. So, you know so this is the typical PAR fi uh, file format shown in blue color it starts with uh, the comment line followed by the sequence description and the actual sequence and it end, ends with the star. Actually the first belongs to the, uh, the line gives the detail about the aligned code which is very essential for a uh, modeler to read the sequence and the same ID should be used throughout the process and uh, so accordingly the user can specify any uh, ID in four letter alphanumeric four letter to uh, identify the sequence and followed by in the second line the first term sequence uh, denotes this is belongs to the target sequence and in the case of the template it will be structure X that is as explained here and followed by this it has uh, the 10 fields is uh, related to the structural uh, detail of the protein, but for sequence it will be null. And uh, so accordingly we have to modify the FASTA file to make uh, the PAR. So, you just modify this. P1 comma you can give just CYES as a keyword or 1YES followed by this is the sequence target sequence. So, it has to be specified with sequence sequence followed by 10 fields 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10 fields separated by 9 columns. So, we can leave these fields blank because for which the structure is not known and it has to be ended up with the asterisk. Then you can save it as PAR. So, this is the first essential step to get ready with the target sequence. So, now we can start with uh, uh, the typical workflow involved in uh, homology modeling. Now, in order to do the first step we have to search template using the BLAST. Go do protein BLAST against 
the PDB database so that the homology will be searched in the PDB database. Use the FASTA formatted sequence. And here you have to select the database, the structured database PDB and do a blast. And you can play around these parameters also in order to get some more number of hits and do blast. So, as a result you will get the number of uh, homology, the homologous proteins with protein structure exists in the PDB. So, in this list you can see the first hit that comes from the SRC family, even the CS kinase is also belongs to the same family and it has the score and coric average, good score, coric average of 100 percent and identity is about 90 percent. So, you can note down this PDB ID and see how the structure exists. You go to the PDB and give it. The template search is a very important task because the modeler will build uh, based on template only. If template is not chosen properly, the result will also be ended up with the error. So, it is uh, very important to choose the template appropriately. So, even though the uh, score and uh, query coverages are good for uh, the first hit, the ranked 1 based on the E value, this is belongs to uh, Gallus Gallus, but the task given for us is building structure for the human protein kinase, human CS kinase. So, in this case we have to see carefully whether uh, any of the other hits in the blast belongs to human or exist. If you see the second hit which is also equivalently good, but only the identity percentage identity is less, but still the 89 percent is good. So, if you go to uh, MXO and search, you go to PDB and see how this structure exists. See here it has uh, two chains A and B belongs to the protein kinase domain and uh, it has uh, the ligand bounded conformation and this is also equivalently good. So, in this case which one we will take whether the template uh, has the good identity the ranked first as per the blast result or the second one which is belongs to the human. So, both are equivalently good not for model building, but still if you visualize using some visualizer tools for example, chimera if you take the visual inspection is very very important and uh, in addition to the blast search results, because this sequence this is blast search is based on the sequence uh, alignment while even uh, the PDB ha the chances for having missing residue in PDB structure is high. So, in that case if you visualize the structure you can see whether the structure structural information for the given template is uh, complete or not. So, here for, uh, for example, if you see MXO 
that is belongs to the human you can retrieve you can retrieve the structure 4 m x o 4 m x o just fetch this is the simplest way to see whether uh, uh, the structure is having any missing residues. See the chimera will easily wish will tell you through the dotted lines see here you can see the dotted lines that is that is uh, belongs to the missing uh, segment. So, this 4 m x o is not uh, the complete one. So, we do not choose it if you go if you check for 3 u 4 w even though that is belongs to the gallus gallus see you can compare now see here for in gallus gallus you do not see any missing residues, there is no dotted lines. Here you can now compare and see both the structures how identity both are using the chimera tool matchmaker. This is the reference structure and one another one can be the structure to match, you just click ok. See, see here the both the structures are identical and you can see here the segment which is missing in human protein is present in the chicken protein. So, in this case we do not mind uh, the 1 percent difference in the identity, here the structural information is very important for model building. So, we will take uh, the CS kinase of gallus gallus instead of human for this task and start doing the homology modeling. So, now we have uh, collected retrieved the sequence from uniprot and we have retrieved the appropriate template from pdb now target and template both are ready to do the homology modeling So, if you go to your working directory, you will be having three files, the first one is corresponding to the structure in pdb file format and the two files fasta and pa for, uh, format belongs to the sequence. Now, you can start working with the modeler software which we have already installed in our computer using the procedure given in the modeler website. If you go to the modeler website. You can see the documentation for downloading and installing the software and to do registration also here in the documentation download and installation instruction is given here. You can download the software which is uh, uh, compatible for your computer and install it and uh, the current version of the modeler is 9.19 and this is command mode and uh, in the documentation you can see the help manual to perform the modeling. You can follow this simple instruction uh, to perform uh, the homology modeling as 
uh, we are going to discuss now. So, in model building there are two essential steps which is uh, which is uh, very uh, important to uh, discuss here is first the alignment of protein sequence with the template structure. We will call it as target template alignment. To do this we can get the script modeler script from their website here. This is the script we have to use to perform the target template alignment. So, that the sequence of our target sequence will be aligned to the sequence of the template structure. So, you can save it, save this script as the model dot py because this is the python script. The first step is more uh, alignment dot py. So, if you look at this script the first three uh, four lines corresponds to setting up the environment variable and impro importing the necessary modules from modeler and action to perform the alignment. So, here in the next line if, if you see the value to the variable file that is belongs to the uh, template. So, here what template we have chosen is 3u 4w that has to be given here carefully 3u 4w and this has only chain a. If you go to the pdb site there you can see you can confirm how many chains the protein this protein has. It has only one chain a. So, you have to specify the starting and ending chain names. So, here only one. So, in both first and last will have the same value the a and in the in the alignment the, the next line corresponds to the sequence where you have to specify uh, the align code for the sequence of the template structure. So, here we will give the same id 3 u 4 w followed by a in order to uh, identify the sequence that is belongs to the chain A of the protein tyrosine kinase structure and followed by the atom file name is 3u 4w dot pdb. So, that these two lines will tell modeler to consider the chain A of the template structure and for the uh, alignment and in the next line we will give the target sequence information that is P 07947 dot PAR and the align code corresponding to the target protein is 1 YES that is what we have mentioned here the same thing should be given here 1 YES and here also we will specify the same. So, that modeler will read these two codes and identify which is the template and which is the target. So, the output alignment uh, file will be like uh, uh, target template, target template dot ali is the output file in PAF format. We can save this. So, now the script for 
target template alignment is ready and we can perform it using modeler. So, start modeler command mode and change the working directory using the cd command in windows. Now, here you can use the command mod 9.18 is the command here for this version followed by one dot alignment the python script file. So, it will start doing the alignment. So, once the alignment is completed, we can start doing with uh, the model building. In the same uh, help page, you can find the second script that is belongs to model building and you can copy the script and save it similarly. So, in this script if you see, similarly the first four line corresponding to the modeler libraries and the next line belongs to the specification of the target te template alignment file and then the corresponding uh, the align codes. So, from the result file of step 1, we can note down the align codes and then specify here to perform model building. So, the target template alignment is the output file we go out now and if you open and see here in the alignment file you can see the alignment in the PER format and the align codes that is corresponding to the structure and the alignment align codes that is corresponding to the sequence and both the codes you can note down or even for safe you can copy and paste it to the new script the next script here the nonce is corresponding to the structure id so here what we used is 3u 4wa and for sequence that is target that is 1yes and the next line tells the what method is going to be used for model building and scoring here the dope scoring scheme is used to evaluate the models and here this line corresponds to the number of models to be generated. So, this is the file called the second step model building. Dot py. and we have to specify the correct alignment file also that is target template dot ali. This is the file actually we, we have got from the previous run target template dot ali that is specified now and now you can perform model building using the same command 2 underscore. So, these are the two important scripts to be edited carefully in order to perform target template alignment and model building. Once this is done and you will be getting uh, the 10 kinase structures for the given target sequence and you can evaluate the correctness of the model in the next step. So, we will wait for a while until this generates the 10 structures. So, now you can see the progress, it generated uh, the 2 structures so far that has uh, the 
uh, file name starts with uh, the align code of the target sequence followed by some alphanumeric numbers. So, once all these 10 structures are built, we can start uh, evaluating the models based on DOPE score that will be written in the log file of the present running, presently running script. So, so far uh, we have completed uh, the model building in the workflow we have retrieved the target sequence and retrieved the template structure and performed the alignment and performed the model building also that includes backbone generation, loop modeling, everything will be taken care by model build step that is called auto model. Next we have to evaluate the model. So, to perform this, we need a software to generate the Ramachandran plot. We can use some online tools called Rampage for example. So, here we have to upload the selected uh, model based on uh, dope score and see how many residues are in allowed and dissolved regions in order to finalize the model for further work. So, so the model building is almost done now. Now we will see the log file of the model building and choose the model based on the DOPE score that is written at the end of this uh, log file. Here you, if you see for the given uh, for the 10 structures uh, generated, the least DOPE score is the best one that is somehow uh, 3, 5, 7, yeah. The seventh model is the best as per the DOPE score. If you take the, the seventh structure now to visualize using PyMol or Chimera whatever you have, you can see the model built using PyMol here and you can compare it with the, the template. Already we have the template loaded in the camera, you just visualize our template alone and load the selected build structure based on the DOPE score. The seventh one is the best one, open it and align using the camera. The reference structure is your template and the structure to match must be your the build structure. Now you can see the alignment how perfectly the modeler built the structure of your target based on the template with the RMSD of 0 0.1 which is very low and means the both the structures are not deviating much. So, once this is confirmed the structure uh, the model building is confirmed you can evaluate the, the same using the Ramachandran plot also. The modeler demo, you can load the seventh model 
and submit. Here you can see the Ramachandran plot with the phi and psi angles specified for each and every amino acids and the statistics. So, here the model was built with 98 percent point four percent of the residues are in favored region and 4 percent are in uh, 4 residues are in uh, that means 1.6 percent are in allowed region and there is no even single residue in the disallowed region. Means the model built uh, the 10 confirmations and we have selected the correct one and evaluate uh, and evaluated the correctness using the Ramachandran plot. So, it means the model what we built is very perfect and we can take it for further structure based trick designing.